Welcome to Car Comparos. Today we are comparing the Datsun Redigo versus the Maruti Suzuki Alto K10. Pricing and features: The top-end Datsun Redigo S variant costs 3.7 lakh rupees on road Delhi, which is 40,000 rupees cheaper than the top-spec Alto K10 VXI O variant, costing 4.1 lakh rupees. The K10 has a couple of extra features like fog lamps and keyless entry over the Redigo, while the Redigo has LED TRLs over the K10. Performance and Drivability The Redigo's 800cc 3-pot engine is no match to the Alto K10's 1-litre unit. In spite of being around 120kg heavier than the Redigo, K10's 200cc advantage gives it a genuinely quick 0-200 acceleration time of 13.5 seconds, which is over 2 seconds quicker than the Redigo. The Redigo has decent drivability around town, but then its refinement is much worse than the buttery smooth engine and sporty exhaust note of the K10. The CNG powered K10 feels noticeably sluggish in comparison to the petrol cars, but it is a huge improvement of the CNG version of the Alto 800. The K10 is also available with the cutting-edge AMT automatic gearbox which eliminates the hassle of constant gear rowing and clutch operation taking the edge off the daily commutes. Fuel Efficiency The Alto K10 petrol manual as well as automatic have an ARAI certified mileage of 24.1 kmpl which is 1.1 kmpl more than the Redigo. The Alto K10 CNG has an ARAI certified mileage of 32.26 km per kg. In our real world tests, the K10 and Redigo were more or less equally efficient. The K10 CNG covered more than 20 km on a kg of compressed gas, but it also consumed a litre of petrol for starting etc. for every 150 km on an average, which equates to a savings of 1 lakh rupees compared to the petrol cars over a usage of 75,000 km. Space and Comfort Redigo is a far more spacious and comfortable vehicle than the Alto, which is quite obvious. Thanks to its tall bar design, it has a higher hip point, liberating some much needed legroom, knee room and headroom, all of which are in short supply inside the Alto. Higher seat height also gives the Redigo's occupants better under thigh support and makes it easy for senior occupants to get in and out of compared to the Alto. Redigo's 222-litre boot is also a much needed 45 litres more spacious than the K10's 177-litre capacity. Prospective K10 CNG buyers also need to make peace with the total absence of boot space. Both cars have Spartan interiors which look like they have time-travelled to the present from the 90s. Handling and Ride Quality The K10 reminds you of a go-kart. Its low slung stance keeps body roll in check and its tiny footprint means it will respond to all your inputs without much inertia. The Redigo is a tall boy but still manages to be quite enthusiastic on twisty roads. The K10 is also quite softly sprung giving it decent ride over smaller bumps and ruts but tends to get caught out by the bigger ones. However, its limited ground clearance means you need to be extra careful while going over rough roads. Redigo's higher ground clearance gives it an edge over the Alto while negotiating the infamous Indian roads. Redigo's ride is fairly mature and feels distinctly like a car from half a segment above it. Reliability and after sales service Tatsun is no match to Maruti Suzuki's legendary service support in our country. Firstly, the K10 has demonstrated outstanding product reliability over the past decade. Tatsun Go and Go Plus have also proven to be quite reliable vehicles, but the Redigo has a brand new unproven powertrain which has been developed specifically for developing markets at a fraction of Nissan's usual development costs. Therefore, it is best to adopt a wait and watch policy for a few months and keep an eye on the customer's feedback. Maruti's service centers are run like well-oiled machinery with systems and processes honed over the better part of three decades. 
Nissan Datsun dealerships are still in their learning phase and are prone to a few hiccups here and there. Maruti's immense service reach, courtesy of its 2000 plus touch points, is also far wider than that of Nissan's 200 odd touch points. A sale and cost of ownership. The K10 is bound to depreciate slightly lower than the Rigo over a usage of 5 to 7 years. Overall, the K10 petrol manual and the Redigo have identical cost of ownership. The K10 AMT automatic is just 20,000 rupees or 4% more expensive than the manuals, which is quite negligible. The K10 CNG works out to be a jaw dropping 1.2 lakh rupees or 25% cheaper than the petrol powered variants. Which brings us to the verdict. It is a very tough choice between the Redigo and the Alto K10. The Alto K10 is just perfect for car buyers having some specific requirements. Those looking for years of long commutes with extremely low running costs or insurance against the odd even rule will go straight for the Alto K10 CNG. Those looking for a second car for use in chock a block cities with perennial traffic and tight parking spaces or those who want one or more of their family members to learn and practice driving, the K10 AMT is a godsend. However, for the majority of first-time car buyers who are looking for a complete family car, one which can comfortably seat four people and a kid, one which can carry a family's weekend luggage, one which can be driven to intrastate road trips, one which can take the everyday bumps and pot on its stride, and yet after doing all this, still not burn a big hole in the pocket, the Redigo is a perfect match and that is why it is our pick of this comparison.